Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking, so we're not going to talk about cheating anymore, but we will be talking about Modern Masters Draft. So my distributor has now, or not my distributor, uh, the game stores I know of, have, they now know how many cases of Modern Masters they will be getting. Uh, if you are advanced plus, you get 9 to 12 cases. If you are advanced, I believe you get 6 to to nine or a six to eight, some weird combination in the middle. And then if you are just a regular store, uh, you get like five, I don't know, it's like a range, you can get a range, but the top of the range, so the only two stores I go to normally are Advanced Plus, so they will be getting nine to 12 cases of Modern Masters. And they've already started advertising drafts. But this is kind of insane uh, when Modern Masters 1 came out, I went to a few different drafts and they were $25 and like the prize support was a half a pack of prize support, which in hindsight wasn't actually that bad, but it was kind of bad because the MSRP was like $6.99 and if you just calculate from MSRP, that's like seven times, that's like 21 plus three and a half. I guess that's very reasonable. That's why it was half because it equaled 25 bucks. But nowadays, um, the MSRP being $10 does change how stores are going to draft in the bad way. And when I mean a bad way, I mean this is kind of insane that a draft is going to be $30, no price support. Yeah, that's, that's what a Modern Masters draft from the two stores I talked to will be. Now, the good thing about the one store I go to is I buy so much of the crap. So <laughs> much of the crap. I buy so much magic cards, video games, and uh, anime toys. Actually, I have a ton of new anime toys, which I'm really excited. But I know a lot of you don't like that, so I'm not going to make that video. Well, I'll probably have it in the background sometimes. I'll probably move this like stuff out of the background. And crazy, right? Uh, $30, no prize support. And the one store I go to will not give me free unlimited free drafts. They say they will cover to my drafts, but my regular drafts, I get unlimited, so I can do as many drafts. They only draft once a week, but I don't even show up that often. I only show up not to do the draft. I show up to pick up my like Urzas or Juvies or whatever. My, um, I order a lot of stuff. Actually, I picked up this really cool giant whiteboard, so now I have two of them. Uh, it's pretty awesome. I am uh, very impressed by it. Anyway, the drafts is Drafts are $30 and no price support. And that, I believe, is going to be the standard price of a Modern Masters draft, which is crazy, right? If you're crazy, um, a lot of these stores are going to uh, sell it on eBay. Uh, they will sell these cases on eBay as soon as they get them, and they will not make them available, at least for the first round, to their customers. The two stores I go to, they're fine. They're going to keep it for their customer base because they know that it is very important to get new players into modern and one of them is a video game store. So that video game store is not getting, I don't feel like they are advanced plus now that I think about it. They are not advanced plus. They must just be advanced. So they're probably, they're going to get like eight cases or some, six to eight cases. And what they are going to do with the cases is they're just going to keep it in the store and sell it and draft it. Um, the other store is just not going to sell it. They are only keeping it to draft. Good on them, right? Good on them. But $30 for a draft, no price support, eh, it's a little ick, right? And then the problem with the Modern Masters draft is you are not really drafting for fun, you're drafting for value. Everyone is drafting for value. Even like when the RTR happened, like I used to draft at a very like serious, when I went, first came to Houston, I used, I went to all these different stores before I found the two I love the most. And people would pass Shocklands all the time. So I was just like, oh cool, second pick Shockland. Oh, fourth pick Shockland. And apparently I was like a no-no there. <laughs> but anyway, People, people at that store don't even pass on some of these cards. I mean, because you're talking about Vendillion Click is 70 bucks. Tamagoyf is, used to be a $200. What is he right now? $150. Uh, 
Dark Confidant is like 80, 90 bucks. I mean, that's hard to pass, even if you know, even if the card is not your color, Tomogorf is actually not that great in this format. Hard to pa pass a Tomogorf. Not only is it hard to pass a Tomogorf, but every pack has a foil. Hard to pass some of those foils, even uncommon, like a foil path to exile. Even if you are not in white, you're like, oh, I can splash that, when it's not the appropriate card to pick. So what you have is you have a lot of people drafting for value, which kind of, I don't know, it's not as uh, fun, in my opinion, as when you draft to make the best deck. And sometimes I will tell you, if the card is worth more than 15 bucks, I will draft it. Uh, but the card is worth like 12 bucks, and it's really, really bad for my deck, I won't, I'll pass it. And yeah, that's the way I feel like drafting should be. Um, and a lot of times the people who are rare drafting, they need it to build up the collection, so I'm totally fine with that. I have no issues if you need to build up your collection and you're rare drafting. Uh, it's just that for me personally, it does take away from the experience if I'm forced, if I am forced, I don't care about the other, I'm not talking about the other seven people, if I'm forced to rare draft a Tamagoy because of value. That doesn't really feel that great. I mean. Okay, it kind of feels like, oh, I opened Tomogorf, awesome. But in the long run, um, I wish it wasn't the case where you had to pick that Tomogorf first pick, no matter what your deck looks like. Or not even Tomogorf, you have to pick the Vendillion Click, the Karn Liberated, Emical. You gotta pick any card over 20 bucks, right? And there's plenty of them. There were plenty of them in Modern Masters 1. I expect there will be plenty of them in Modern Masters 2015. $30 a draft. Crazy, um, no prize support. That's what it is. That's what it is. Uh, and I don't know, I feel like it is um, one of probably going to be an extremely fun format to draft, just that the price point is insane. Bye, guys.